Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris with CF Media. Today I'm doing my initial impressions on the GH7. I'm out here filming an event where we're gonna be shooting guns out in the woods. So it's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, I'm using the Sigma 24-70 f2.8, the Metabones XL, and I'll be using autofocus and manual focus, testing it out, see how this camera holds up while we film outdoors today. Check it out. All right, so far I've been shooting people shooting guns, been shooting moving targets. I've been doing a lot of manual focusing just because I wanna have full control of what I'm doing. But from here on out, I'm gonna start using a lot more man autofocus. So far it's holding up. I feel like the dynamic range is doing killer. We got white skies out here today. But as long as I'm kind of under cranking, I'm getting a little bit more details into the sky. So, so far the GH7 is holding up pretty good. I'm liking the tilt screen. I love this. I missed it on the G9 Mark II. I forgot how good the GH6 style body feels in the hand. It feels so much more comfortable than the G9 Mark II does in the hand. And overall, it's a lot more balanced with this big, heavy Sigma lens. So, so far, pretty happy. It's performing. Let's get some more footage. All right guys, so today I used the GH7 for the first time outside in the wild. It was a fun camera to use. Uh, I've come from using the GH6, the G9 Mark II, S1H. So it just felt like picking up any other Lumix camera. It was super easy to grab and figure out where was what. Out here, you might be able to see it's starting to rain a little bit and I got nothing to worry about because this camera's fully weather sealed. So I know that I'm in good condition here and the fan I know it wasn't that hot today, but I know it's not going to overheat. So highly recommend this camera having internal ProRes and raw. It's something I didn't get to test out today, but I will continue to uh, test and I'll show you guys what I think about that, having that internal as well, but having that option is super flexible. And I know because it is internal, I will end up using it way more often than not. That way I don't have to carry a Ninja and stuff like that. So I love having the raw and the ProRes internally into the camera. And I personally love CFast cards. Overall, my experience was great. And for the first time using it on the field, filming this event, I think it performed really good. Autofocus was great with the Sigma adapted lens with Metabones XL. I think the autofocus did great. The manual focusing was easy as well. Having access to a good, decent EVF was really awesome as well. Uh, the EVF isn't as good as the S1H EVF, but it did the job. It helped me get some shots, especially when I was focusing on really, really small targets. So overall, so far, first impression, I recommend this camera. I think y'all should check it out. And especially if you've already got EF lenses, pick up this camera. It's so awesome having almost a full frame camera that shoots open gate and does internal ProRes and internal ProRes RAW. It's like, what a time to be alive. And you got autofocus, right? So it's awesome camera. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.